good. Those shoulders get rather tight, your chest gets tight, and we just want to loosen it up. Good. Now let's take it the other way for me. Really make those elbows go up to the side. And then we're going to bring the shoulders, hands up onto the shoulders. We're going to bring the elbows together and open the back. So we open the chest and squeeze those shoulder blades together at the back. Good. Four more. Three. Good. Two. And last one. Bring them down for me. Bring your feet closer together. And we're going to go into some foot pedals. So pedal through those ankles and the toes. Good. Go through the feet. That's it. Try and keep those hips nice and still for me. Good. So lift, lift, lift. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Now let's raise up onto the toes at the same time as bringing those hands up. So just to shoulder height. Try and get that balance. Think about lifting and zipping up. We're giving baby a hug as we go up. Excuse my beep for going off. Keep going. Let's just do two more. And last one for me. Place the feet back down. Take those arms all the way up. We're going to drop them behind our head in that corkscrew. So working the lats. Good. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Okay, we're going to go into the Cleopatra. So we push, slide, we come in and slide. So we go out and out. Out. So you're turning the palms up, then turning the palms down. Down. Excellent. Four more. Good, three, I can feel that, two, and last one. Okay, bring it down. We're going to go into our basic squat. So you're going to sit your bottom back. It's a narrow squat. Go back. Now you guys are working within your own range of movement. So if you want to go that little bit faster, you can do. But as we come up, we're thinking about engaging the pelvic floor, zipping up, giving baby that little hug. Work through the legs, push through the heels. We're going to do two more. Now we're going to stay down. Now reach your arm up, swing it back down. This is the chair pose. And down. So just float those arms up, sitting back. Now we're going to take one arm in front, one arm behind. Front, behind. Now if you get tired, come back up a little bit and swing those arms. This is really good for the strengthening of the legs. And we've just got two more guys. And last one, lifting up, back into foot pedals. So pedal, pedal, pedal. Try and keep those hips still. Just move the feet. Good. Excellent. Good. Now you're going to come out. As you come up, I want you to squeeze that bottom. You don't need to get down too far. Good. You can get down further if you feel comfortable. We've got four more. I'm just using my hands for balance. Last one, guys. Let's change legs. So try and keep baby bump to me. Good. And as you come up with that leg, squeeze the bottom. Good. 
Last one. Good. Back into the centre. Back for those foot pedals. Here we go. Push, push. Good. Hands on your hips. Good. We've got four, three, two, one. Our next leg exercise, guys, we're going to take it into that pendulum lunge. Goes forward, we tap in the middle, goes back. Just have a little look. Forward, tap, back. Forward, tap, back. Same leg. Forward, forward, tap in the centre, back. Centre. So we always come into the centre to give you that balance. Now imagine I'm pushing back on your shoulders. So you're upright for me. Forward, tap, back, tap. So you're just getting that movement. Tap, good. Forward. Give me one more. And back, good. Now come back to those foot pedals. Good. Excellent, well done. Okay, let's go up onto both toes and float the arms. So we're going to finish with this section. I'm going to move on to our arms. Two more. Oh, and last one. Okay, guys. So it goes Y, T, push it up for the I. Y from the shoulders, T to the side, I. Y, good. T and I. So we've got to think about all the lifting and carrying you're going to be doing with this little baby of yours. So we want to make sure those shoulders are nice and strong. Y, T, good, I, again, Y, if you get tired, have a little rest, I, good, Y, T, we've got two more guys, Y, T, and I, and rest. Bring it down. Now I want you to do a little bit of balance for me. So standing on one leg, we're going to add some bicep curls. So bicep curls. Now with your weight, you can just lift them up and down. Lift. Good. If you want to make that harder, you can actually extend that leg. Give that leg a little squeeze. Four. Good. We've got three, good, well done. Two, last one, excellent. Change legs, still with the biceps, lift, good. Keep going, wow, great balance. So by balancing, it's really helping to stabilize and make you work that little bit harder. Four, nearly there. Three, good. Two, last one. Well done, guys. Just give those shoulders a little roll for me. Excellent. Okay, so this time I'm just going to show you. We're going to bend over so that back is nice and straight. Now we're going to row and row. So give baby a hug. Keep the elbows close to the side. You don't want them coming out. You want them close to the side. So keep, keep the arms nice and straight. So row it back. Bend your knees that little bit. Lift. Lift. Good. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Now lift up. We're going to go into a deadlift. So this is a great one for the glutes again, guys. So from here, you turn those and hold those weights or cans. You're going to come down 
back is straight, come back up, squeeze your bottom. So that's your deadlift. So when you're going to pick up baby, the car seat, you're gonna make sure that everything's engaged, you're using those legs, you're not hunching the shoulders. You want those shoulders back. Let's just do two more for me. And then last one. Well done. Come round. Round with those shoulders. Take a breath in into your tummy. As you breathe out, draw baby into the back of your spine. Give baby a hug. Just hold there for four, three, two, one. And you're gonna bring your toes together, sit back into your child pose. Open up your back. And we're gonna come back up. If at any point you get tired, just give your hands a little bit of a pedal. Okay, we're just going to do a little reach. So again, you're giving baby a hug. We're going to reach forward and come back. Change arms. So you're trying to stabilize the shoulders, but reaching forward. And give that back a little bit of a rest. Now creep those fingers forward. Really stretch out the upper shoulders, upper back. And coming back now, guys, into all fours. Okay, so we're going to do an angry cat. We're going to come back into neutral spine, and then we're going to do a big hip circle. Right, and then round to left. So angry cat, lifting up, back into the centre, round in a circle, round in a circle. Angry cat, back into the centre, round in a circle, round in a circle. We've got two more angry cats and down. Round in a circle and round in a circle. Last one, angry cat, and back. Good. Round in a circle and round in a circle. Now just swish the tail. Imagine you've got a imaginary tail as you swish. Just releasing the pelvis. Good. We've got four, three, two, one. Just sit back. Give your arms a circle. Wrists a little circle. Give them a little bit of a break. Now give them a flick. Now bring your fingertips together. Take it into Superman. You're going to hold and then come back down. Hands underneath the shoulders, and then come back. Opposite arm and leg, we're gonna hold. Four, three, give baby a hug. Two, and one, and drop it down, and opposite arm. Let's hold it there for a count of four. Three, two, one, drop it down. From here, we're gonna take it out, into a little pulse and down. Now it doesn't have to go too far, so squeeze the bottom, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So it doesn't have to go too far. That knee doesn't have to go all the way down. You can make it smaller. So you push, push. Can we do four more? Four, three, good, two, and last one, squeeze the knees together and release. Squeeze your knees and release. And we've got two more, and we've got one more, and we're gonna bring it down for me. So I want you to bring one leg up, hold onto your knee, push the back, and you're going to bring the other leg up. Now this is your release of your pelvis. Quite often, if we have any pain in the pelvis, everybody tells you to jam those legs together. I just want you to learn just to let that area release. So if you want to, give your back a little bit of a massage, and then you're going to release that down. Bring your knees together, drop down nice and slowly. Still with the cushion in on your back, 
Take your hands out to the side. We're gonna do a knee drop. So you're gonna drop one knee. Now here, we bring the pelvic floor together, give baby a hug, come back into the center. Really important that we have that coordination of the pelvic floor, supporting the abdominals, supporting the inner thigh, as we come back into the center. So we've got two more after this one. And then one more for me. And then we're gonna take both down to the side. So hands at the side, and we're gonna take both legs over and your head goes the other way. Now here we give baby a hug to bring those knees back in line and come across. So you feel that lovely stretch in the lower part of your back. You're gonna take those arms and float them up. So from here, we're gonna take the one arm behind our head, release the shoulder away from the ear, and then we're gonna switch, release that shoulder. Remember, we've just done a lot of work on the shoulders. We want to release them and get some movement back into them. And we've just got two more. And then we've got last one, and bring the arms down. So from here, we're gonna take a breath in. We're gonna give baby a hug, pull the lift the pelvic floor, our knee comes up, and we take it out. We bring it back in, and we drop it down. We lift the other one, we extend. We bring it back in and down. So all the time, we're moving when we're on our back. We're not staying static. So it's all about lift, push, come back in and down, lift and push. And it's in line with the other knee, it doesn't have to be too high. Have your cushion just under your bump giving you that support. So you can have your head resting onto the cushion, other cushion underneath your bump, and we're going to carry on working the glutes. So, our knees are in 45 degrees and we're going to go into the oyster. Now, I feel like I've done loads of this this week, so my, my hips aren't moving as well as they normally do. So, we're going to lift and lower. So, you'll feel that around this area. So, it's strengthening this area. So, we're going to hold it there for me. Hold for a count of four. Good. Three, two, one one and release it down for me now straighten that top leg so it's straight from the hip and we're going to turn the toe up and we're going to bring it to me so we get that movement around the hip and working with the hip flexor you're feeling it in the glutes as well nice little turnout turn the toe up to the ceiling back to me up to the ceiling, back to me, good. Last two, it's a hard one, last one, and release. So we're now going to take that bottom arm and we're gonna put the hand on top of the other one. So we push the fingers and we're gonna look at the finger as we rotate and try and get that shoulder down onto the floor. We take a breath in here as we breathe out. We control the movement as we bring the fingers back down. So we're gonna do that again. Let's reach over, allow the hips to move with you, and then bring it back. We're gonna change that position. Imagine you've got a piece of chalk in your hand and you're making a big circle. It goes all the way over your head. It comes round. You're following your fingers, making that circle, it comes over the hip and it comes back round. So you're really lengthening through those fingertips. Just give me two more. These are called the chalk circles. So allow the body to move. You're looking at your hand, releasing the chest all the way round. That's it, good. Sweeping over the top of the thigh, good. And last one. Hands down and we're going to lift into the oyster. You can see I've got a lot more movement in this hip than I have the other side. I need to practice a little bit more flexibility. Good, so really open. This should be really part of your weekly routine, strengthening this area. So we're gonna hold it now at the top, 
We're gonna hold for four, good, three, all my legs are wobbling, two, one, and release down. Well done. Now push the heel away. We've got the hip and leg in line, and we're gonna turn up and bring it back to me. So the toe to the ceiling and back to me. Toe to the ceiling and back. Toe to the ceiling and back. Four more. We've got three. Rest if you need to. Two. And last one. So just change your position, your arm position and your cushion. And we're going to go into the arm opening. So sweep the finger, fingertips away. Start to look at your hand and rotate. You, it'll naturally, that knee will come up. Try and get the shoulder blade down on the floor. Breath in as we breathe out, give baby a hug as you come round. We've just got one more of these. Open. Keeping mobile is just so important. Now let's go into our chalk circle as we go round. We sweep that arm round and we come across the top of the hip and thigh. That big chalk circle, you're looking at the fingertips. And we've got two more. Take it as slowly as you want to. And my last one. And then we're going to come and we're just going to rest. Okay, so coming back up for me. Pull baby into you, coming back into that transition. Coming into this position, I want your legs a little bit wider. So onto your sit bones for me, just release those shoulders. So we're again going to move those hips. Now see how you feel. Your fingertips, guys, are behind you. And you're going to move the knee as it sweeps across. So we're just going to release and relax. So release back. And then just sit up slightly and push your chest. So come back and lift up. We come back and we lift. We come back down. So we're supporting you back and opening the chest. <coughs> and two more. Good, and then the last one. So I want you to feel the pelvic floor closing from side to side. So those sit bones are getting closer. So we're gonna lift, close first, we're gonna go up in the lift, first, second, third floor. Now keep breathing. So in this position now, keep it lifted. You're gonna tap your shoulders for me, opposite shoulder. Keep the pelvic floor lifted. The, imagine the elevator, the lift doors are still closed. Now release it down, down, down. Now it might have gone, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry too much about it. Let's just give it a go one more time. So a, imagine the lift doors closing. So it's the back passage, the middle and the front. We're gonna lift to the first, second, third floor. So you should feel the abdominal switching on. Hold there at the top. Let's do our shoulder tap. So the elevator's all the way at the top, the pelvic floor's at the top. Last couple. And then you're going to release down, down, down. We're closing and lifting in that emergency stop. So lift in one and release. Lift as one and release. So lift. So this is useful when you cough, you sneeze, etc. Lift and release and lift. I'm trying to think if my bottom muscles are moving then. They shouldn't be. And lift and release. One more. Lift and release. Now let's change legs. Ooh. Feel it again. So we're off slightly off centre. We're going to close the lift doors and release.